You had a beautiful article come out in Vogue Australia featuring you and your partner G Flip. Um, tell me how you're feeling now that your story is out there um, and you were able to share it on your terms. You know, it was a nerve wracking thing, um, but you know, they made us feel so comfortable and um, going there and kind of giving some more information about how it all came about. And um, you know, of course, you're gonna you're gonna get all types of reactions, and we knew that. That's why we have been, you know, a little closed off to letting people in but it you know it's something that we're both really proud of and we love each other so much and so at the end of the day um, if someone's love for someone upsets you then that's a sad thing I yeah. think there should be more love in the world so um, why not share it so that's kind of where we're at and I'm very proud um, and I think it came out really well and yeah I just love them so much so I love it it was beautiful and I loved when you said in there um, if you don't share it then they win you know, I thought that that was so beautiful. And um, so how did you know that it was kind of the right time for you guys to to share that um, with the public? Well, I think it's one of those things. I mean, people are already making their judgments and making, um, you know, different, I don't know, crazy, you know, conclusions. And so it's one of those things where the actual story is not um, as salacious as people think and it's a beautiful um, story so it's one of those things where it's like you know it's something we're really proud of and just feeling comfortable and in feeling how strong we are as a couple then then allowing people to you know be let in a little bit mm -hmm. it's just a mix of finding yeah. that balance of you know how much you want to share or not yeah, but exactly. well your smile definitely says it all you're glowing um, how how did you know that you were in love? How did you know that it was different with G Flip? Um, I mean, have you been in love? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's one of those feelings. I mean, here we are talking about the heart. That's a matter of the heart. So you know, it's a unmistakable feeling. I feel like, and so yeah, it's going really well. <laughs> yes. Um, and then finally, what are like three adjectives that you can say that you are bringing to this season of Selling Sunset? Okay, three adjectives. Energy. Okay, energy is um, really confident, um, which is important because you're going to get thrown a lot of crazy things. So I'd say confident. I'd say, um, uh, what's the word for like live in the moment, not let like... Present. Present, okay, and also uh, spicy. There's a few spicy. Oh, spicy moments. Uh, it's really hard, you guys, to like. <laughs> they really make it hard to just always take the high road. So, Amen. I, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's the anxiety I have till I see what is gonna go. Oh no! I would say it, it's yeah. It's. Mm. It's going to be a good one, it's that means. It's going to be great for you guys. You will enjoy watching the show. I'm going to have so much anxiety and go live under a rock until it's gone. You just go to Australia. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Literally under. Down there you go. Under. There you go. Tell me a little bit about your beautiful red dress that you're wearing today. Thank you. I love this dress. This is Galia Le Havre, and I've worn them before. I love that they... It's actually really comfortable, which I know seems crazy, <laughs> but um, I just felt like it was really timeless and beautiful, and I was worried about you know walking and tripping, so um, I feel like this is comfortable and I can have fun. So this was the dress. It was only the I only tried on two, and I was like, we're done. We're we're gonna waste time looking at other dresses. It's beautiful. Now, have you practiced your runway walk? <laughs> I did. Today we did a rehearsal in the shoes. I didn't do a rehearsal in the shoes and the dress. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna, as long as I just hold the back up, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, nobody asked you to be like an IMG girl. You're, you're just- Oh, good, because <laughs> <laughs> this is for fun. This is for charity. Exactly, this is for fun, this is for charity, because that's the reason I wanted to do it, just yeah. because if it was supposed to be runway and fashion and modeling, that's not me. Um, I'd rather, you know, dance and laugh and have a good time and raise money for a great cause so that's what we're here to do so I'm excited about it. And you're going to be able to dance down the runway to Rita Ora, Cheryl Crow. I know. So fun. Such incredible iconic women so I love it. We're all here for the same cause which is to raise awareness. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of women and so 
being you know part of Selling Sunset, we always striving to, as much as people love the drama, to try and really empower women. And people watch the show and they feel you know really empowered to you know be your own boss and you know kind of own your world. And this is part of that. So mm -hmm. I think it's a great fit, and I'm excited. And everyone's super amazing backstage. We're all chatting and having a good time. So fun. Um, and tell me how you take care of your heart health, how you stay in shape and eat right to make sure your heart's healthy. Well, you know, it is a balance. I think that, you know, a lot of people, we're all busy and we're all trying to do our best. And so I think it's a mix of, you know, trying to do the simple things we've heard a million times, which is, you know, get enough rest, eat healthy, you know, those things. Of course, life isn't perfect. You're going to have those those times. Don't beat yourself up, but try and, you know, just have a balance and get back on track. And I think when you're putting the focus on being here a long time and your health and enjoying your life, it's easier to kind of make those sacrifices that, yes, okay, in the moment, this is going to be really nice and I'm going to stay up all night. It's like, actually, you're going to feel better in the long run. If you get some sleep, maybe, yeah. you know, have a little balance <laughs> of the good and bad decisions. <laughs> yes. Exactly.